Yeah, it was great. I mean, what, what else can I say? It's uh, uh, after one-one at halftime, we were of course not not happy, um, especially the way we we gave away the goal uh, with the penalty, and then and then uh, when when the goalkeeper saved it, I think you have to um, yeah you have to put everything in not to to let him shoot again. So that was the I think the only the only criticism tonight because uh, the second half we played uh, sometimes some amazing football and uh, um, yeah we really killed the game. I think it's a it's a great feeling. Uh, all the fans was amazing tonight, and uh, they they give us something more. I think, and uh, yeah, we need we need that we need that for for go to the next round. And uh, yeah, that's it. We are we are all happy tonight, and of of course it's amazing to score all the time three goals. So really happy. Well, it's amazing, amazing night. Um, so I have to mention uh, the team. I think the team. They do it a fantastic job. They play fantastic, not just in the defender, but in the middle. And of course, uh, forward, uh, we score uh, many goals. So we are happy. Um, and we play an unbelievable uh, game, in my opinion. We press high. We don't give the change. We don't give a change to the to the Malmo to, to play uh, our game. And uh, it was good. I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, eight goals is not is not easy. Uh, and I think the team was fantastic tonight. The winnings give confidence to the team and goals. And uh, we passed for that trouble uh, moments uh, when we lost here in home against Barcelona. The problems that we had in Cadiz, Every, everything. It's it, it's it's problems for us, you know, to pass for these troubles. But now we are we are good. We are five games in a row that we win. So we are happy. We are more consistent. The team is good, uh, feeling better, more confidence. So we are in a way. So we have to to think in, in the present. The present is good, but we have to carry on with this with this way because you know the season is long. The Champions League is, is long. So we believe that this year we're going to win something important. It's the best moment in my life. I have to tell. I never felt like this. I didn't know where I am when Mario scored because I knew we had uh, some some time left and we need to defend. And then when uh, the referee blew the whistle, it was. It just overcome me. I, have to, I had to cry. I couldn't stop it. It was uh, was crazy, and uh, I just want to to feel this moment and uh, yeah to celebrate. Tony, thank you for joining us on BT. Uh, Real Madrid very much in the driving seat now in the group. Paris Saint Germain aren't. You must be very happy over the last two games. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think we we didn't lost in Paris and we we won today. So that was was our goal, and we we did it. But uh, I think. We are not uh, pretty happy with our performance today. Paris had more possession than, than us. I think we, we can improve with this. Uh, of course, we create chances every every game, but I think Paris also had some, some opportunities. So uh, I think we are a little bit uh, lucky. We are a bit disappointed because we wanted to win, obviously, the, the first game, but uh, we will take that, that point. And uh, we will think about the, the next game. I think we did, we did very well the second half and we, we know now how to how to make um, the Bayern in difficulty. So we're gonna do, we're gonna play on this uh, on this point and um, and think about the next game. So we can we can we can do very good in the, in away. Obviously, uh, first half we were a bit frustrated because we couldn't we couldn't get the ball um, in their in their camp. But at the second half we we play we play higher and uh, we create chances and we score two goals. So. I think we did we did much better in second half. Obviously, I know it's going to be very difficult, but it's a Champions League game. It's always beautiful. We never know who's going to win. So we're going to play that game with the whole our heart, and we're going to try to win, obviously, because we're playing for this. Yeah, of course, it's uh, the players we have. Uh, I think this is uh, one of the best generations we ever had in Germany. It's at least the best generation I, I uh, yeah, really I saw in Germany. I grew up in the 90s, so I think this is uh, a really good team. You see it in Champions League. Um, half of our team won the Champions League. Uh, some of us stood in the final last year and lost it against Bayern. So um, yeah, we just have a good team. We will have a good team in the next years too, so there's a big chance for us to yeah, stay very um, successful. We did actually manage to create some opportunities. It just was so hard to get that final result, to convert it and score a goal. Why do you think that is? I think first half we, we lost easy balls when we came on the opponent's side. And second became much, much better because we, we didn't lose the easy balls and we came around the from the sides, try to put the, the cross in or play around like we, we can play, like our quality. And uh, 
that's the way it is. You play against a good team, you need to be you need to be collective good and I think we did a good game. It makes the job going into Madrid just that little bit harder, but still not impossible. Are you hopeful that you can go out there and get a good result? I think so, yes. Nothing is impossible and uh, we believe in ourselves. We played today, we showed we could create the chances, like you said, and uh, hopefully we can create more clear chances in Madrid. And But it will be a different game, totally different game. You've really got a huge winning mentality here at the club now. Do you think it's time for PSG to step up and do well on the European stage and get to the latter stages of this competition now? Is this the time we're going to see you do that? This is the European Cup is one of the, the main targets absolutely for the club. We won everything else we could win. We will try to win it again. And the, the project that is going on, the players that is coming, it's, it's for the European stage, absolutely. And uh, we are still in the group stage, it's important. We have to go further from the group and then from there we see what happens. And uh, I think we are ready. The team is three years old. Become, becomes better and better each year that goes, each day that goes, so let's see. Zlatan, well played today, good to have you on BT. Thank you. See you Thank soon. You. Thank you very bye much. Bye. Henrik, United through to the knockout stages. You had to be patient, but never really looked in doubt tonight. Yeah, in the first half was um, a little bit difficult because we couldn't find uh, the last pa pass, but in the second half uh, we could uh, create some, some space for, for the wingers and from, uh, for, from the stri for the strikers that we have done. Uh, Wayne created space for me, I've scored the goal and also the goal of uh, Ibra, we had a lot of space up front. So the most important that we have won today and uh, we, are, we are going through. A lovely goal it was as well to open your account at Manchester United. Is that a little weight off your shoulder? It's always nice to get the first. Uh, I think it can be <laughs> because I was waiting a long time for this goal and uh, hopefully I score but uh, my next my next goal it has to be in Old Trafford because I want to score at home. It's another uh, pleasure to score in Old Trafford, so I will try to do my best to do that. You can see how United had upped the tempo in the second half. There's a lot more pace. Sorry? You up the tempo in the second half. There was a lot more pace and movement second half. Yeah, it was better than the first one because in the first half we were playing not so good. So we couldn't uh, find the right space. We couldn't uh, understand each other and also we, we weren't uh, used to playing this kind of pitch. But in the second half it was the opposite. We, we played very well. We, we did some mistakes, but uh, without mistakes there is no football. So we have tried to improve ourselves and uh, to make the result. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you again and uh, hello to Frank. <laughs> so, no, today we, we play a good game. Uh, maybe not the best of the season, but at least we create a couple of chances. We score two goals and, uh, and we won the game. It was the speed of the, the counter-attack that really hurt West Ham. Is that something that you practice a lot, Eden, under Antonio Conte? No, it's not something we practice a lot. Uh, we have the, the player to do that. Uh, me, Pedro and Diego, we are quick, we are fast in the counter-attack, so we try to do the best and today the first goal is when is Angolo, I think Angolo get the ball, pass to me, I pass to Pedro and then give me back, so it's a good goal. Hi Adam, it's Frank. I'm hi, Frank. Uh, hi, hi. Um, I can see, you can see you're enjoying your football at the minute, I mean just the, the, uh, the flick off the back, skills, getting around the box. My question is, do you think the change of system has obviously helped the whole team but has it helped you to get into more central positions nearer Diego where you can create and score goals more than, say, last year where you were more of a left side wide man? Yeah, I think it's more easy for me to, to play more inside, uh, close to Diego, yeah. close to the goal. Uh, sometimes when I play wide, uh, I'm alone. And uh, if I want to, to be decisive, I need to, to dribble one, two guys. So it's not easy every time. But uh, in this system, we know what to do, and uh, yeah, we create a lot of chance. We try to pass each other every time, so we do we do well.
great. I mean, what, what else can I say? It's uh, uh, after one one at half time, we were of course not not happy, um, especially the way we we gave away the goal uh, with the penalty, and then and then uh, when when the goalkeeper saved it, I think you have to. Um, yeah, you have to put everything in, not to, to let him shoot again. So that was the, I think the only, the only criticism tonight because uh, the second half we played uh, sometimes some amazing football and uh, um, yeah, we really killed the game. I think it's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, all the fans was amazing tonight and uh, they they give us something more. I think and uh, yeah, we need we need that we need that for for go to the next round and uh, yeah. That's it. We are we are all happy tonight, and of of course it's amazing to score all the time three goals. So really happy. Well, it's amazing, amazing night. Um, so I have to mention uh, the team. I think the team we do it a fantastic job. They play fantastic, not just in the defender but in the middle, and of course uh, forward uh, we score uh, many goals. So we are happy. Um, and we play an unbelievable uh, game, in my opinion. We press high. We don't give the change. We don't give a change to the to the Malmo to to play our, our game. And uh, it was good. I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, eight goals is not is not easy. Uh, and I think the team was fantastic tonight. The winnings give confidence to the team and goals. And uh, we passed for that trouble uh, moments uh, when we lost here in home against Barcelona, the problems that we had in Cadiz, every, everything, it's, it, it's, it's problems for us, you know, to pass for these troubles. But now we are, we are good, we are five games in a row that we win, so we are happy, we are more consistent, the team is good, uh, feeling better, more confidence. So we are in a way, so we have to, to think in the present, the present is good, but we have to carry on with this, with this way because, you know, the season is long, the Champions League is, is long, so we believe that this year we're going to win something important. It's the best moment in my life, I have to tell I never felt like this. I didn't know where I am when Mario scored because I knew we had uh, some, some time left and we need to defend and then when uh, the referee blew the whistle, it was... It just overcome me. I, have to, I had to cry. I couldn't stop it. It was uh, was crazy, and uh, I just want to to feel this moment and uh, yeah to celebrate. Tony, thank you for joining us on BT. Uh, Real Madrid very much in the driving seat now in the group. Paris Saint Germain aren't. You must be very happy over the last two games. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think we we didn't lost in Paris, and we we won today. So that was was our goal, and we we did it. But uh, I think. We are not uh, pretty happy with our performance today.